There are a lot of controls all across DaVinci Resolve, and for most of them, if we want to have adjustments, we're typically going to rely on keyframes. But in the world of audio, sometimes we want to add a lot of different emotion, maybe have it pan from left to right, right to left, change the volume up and down, up and down. That could be a lot of keyframes. We can actually record our adjustments while playing back the video. So I'm going to quickly show you that. And for those who know about automations, in DaVinci Resolve 18, there were a bunch of different uh, UI changes to make the overall experience a little more pleasant. As you know, once you turned on automations, that big bar that used to go across the middle of the screen that you could not turn off or else it would turn off your automations, it isn't really a thing anymore. So I'm going to show you guys how to use automations as well as those updates that have happened in Fairlight. Before we do jump in though, I do wanna tell you if this stuff is interesting to you, especially Fairlight, I have a whole website going over just about everything that is involved in Fairlight. Today we're gonna to go over a couple of different things dealing with automations, but I have a whole course, or actually a whole lesson within a large course that goes over everything, and one of the portions is specifically going over automations in Fairlight. So let's just jump over to Fairlight now and I'll show you what we're working with. So let me grab my headphones, throw those on, pop out my video so we can see this. And pretty much all it is, is we have uh, a music track, we have some birds, and then we have the beach. I guess I didn't have the music turned on, but there it is, right? So we're gonna, specifically just mute these two and then just work with these birds as you can see them here. There is a little bit of separation here with stereo, but it's not um, really going from left to right. It's just kind of in between both of them, just showing that there's a little bit more depth there. So if you've used automations in the past, one thing that you're used to seeing is this big control here. And typically we would have to leave this control on, but if you see right next to it, there's a little toggle switch there and that actually turns on the automation controls as you can see here, over here and down here. So now we don't have to have that big bar there anymore, which is really nice. It's a really nice addition into Fairlight, uh, especially if you don't have a ton of space to have this extra bar there, which really isn't necessary. So now you can turn that off and this is your toggle to turn automations on or off. So let's come back to the beginning and we're gonna be working with pan for the bird channel here. So if you don't have pan over here, we can click this little button and here are all of our controls. Pans you know, might be off, you just come down here, check it on, and then we have pan. If we go into the pan controls, uh, if you've never used this, there's a lot of different controls here and there's actually, it gets to be a little bit more complicated when there's more than just two channels. As we can see, uh, this particular track only has two channels, so we only have to worry about two. So we have the two here. Uh, the big thing that we're gonna be working with here is the separation, because if I turn off everything on all of the automations, if we just listen to this and we move left and right, there isn't really that much of a change. There's a little bit of a change, but there isn't that much. Now, if we take this spread and we bring it back and we have it in the middle, it sounds normal, but now we can go to the left channel and to the right channel. So it's up to you how much of a spread you would want to add to this. Um, and there is this divergence, which gets a little bit more complicated when we're working with uh, more channels, but um, yeah, so you do have that uh, there as well. So I'm just gonna put this spread right in the middle. Let's just give it a 50, and this will give us a good amount of left to right spread, as you can hear there, right? So that's what we'll be working with. Okay, so let's bring it back over. And as you can see now, there isn't anything, any extra colors other than this blue and this green here. Once we go into adding automations in, you'll see that that changes. So I'm gonna turn on my automations, and we're also going to come over here and we're going to enable pan, because that's the thing that we want to have the automations record. Um, over here, there's write and trim. Like I said, if you want to know more about this tool set, I have a whole course going over uh, all the stuff in Fairlight, but I'm not gonna go over all of it because there is a lot to it. Big thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to latch. So this is, while we're playing it back, whatever controls that we don't move, it's not going to record. But once we start moving a control, that's the control that's going to record. 
on stop. This is another big one that you're going to be want to be present on. So currently, this is the easiest way to explain this. Let's say this is at zero dB. If we were to record this and end down here in the 30s, 25, 30, whatever it may be, once we're done recording, the rest of the track that is still there, it's going to go back up to where it previously was. It's going to return to its previous state before the recording. So we're going to set this to hold because we want it to hold where we stop recording. Okay. So that's pretty much that. I'm going to bring this over. And as you can see, once I brought it over, it's now red because it's recording. We're at the beginning here and I'm going to pop open my video so I can watch these birds. I actually don't think I'm going to go all the way over. I'm going to start somewhere like there and then I'm going to hit my space bar to start playing. And obviously we're going to be recording left to right here. And there'd be other portions of this recording that we'd also be able to do if we had channels that were in the back as well, or like those binaural um, headphones that you can also mess around with. That's like a big thing in Fairlight now too. Uh, if you wanted to actually see all of the recording that we did, we could come over to here and we can go into like pan. We did the left, right pan. And so remember all of like making keyframes and stuff, like look at all the stuff that is here, right? All of these keyframes that are here, this would, you know, take forever. Now, this was a pretty linear switch from one side to the other, but just think of uh, if we were in a room and there was a guy pacing back and forth, we could constantly, you know, move his uh, area of effect on the speakers around the room based off of how much he's pacing and where he's going. Makes it a little more easier than just, you know, for, for something like this, I could have put a keyframe up here and a keyframe down there and just had it linear, but hopefully kind of follow on how that works there. So that's recording that, and now we can see in here, it's moving um, just how I had it. If I was to grab this and start moving it, I'll do it. We'll see that now we're starting to record new stuff there, right? So that would be up to you how, how you would want to do that, but just showing you how that works. So let's come back down here to the uh, ocean sound. So it's just coming in pretty loud. It looks like there's a bit of a fade in there. Maybe we'll remove... Uh, Let's come back over to here. We'll remove some of that fade so it just starts here. And maybe we wanna have this lower, right? So we can come over. Don't remember, don't grab your bus. Uh, we actually wanna grab the uh, audio track three. We could bring that down a bit. So now we have that sound. Uh, we could also, you know, have this a little panned a little more over there and bring our spread in just a little bit. And then uh, to record this here, we have to turn on our fader for that recording. Uh, once we have these turned on, then those are gonna be the elements in which we have the ability to start recording. Everything else that's turned off, we wouldn't be able to. Uh, if we come up here and turn something off, it'll then stop recording. The recordings will still stay there, but it'll just stop the recording. All right, so now, as I play this, we're getting closer to the ocean there. So we're bringing up that volume. And so now if I look at my little fader here, uh, as it's going, it's moving up, right? And so now the fader is changed to green, indicating that there is currently an automation applied to that. When we're in record mode though, it will then turn red. So if I grab any of them, uh, it's then ready to record uh, once I start playing. Okay, so that's that's pretty much that. Uh, if I wanted to see this, I could come into here and then I have you know all of that. If I open this up, then I can see all of those keyframes that were added in. Uh, for that whole move, but that's pretty much how we would add it in. The big thing here with DaVinci Resolve 18 is being able to do that and still having our automations on. That is huge, especially for people that just don't have the screen real estate and they're working with a ton of tracks. Every little piece of space really helps. I think they might've actually made this a little smaller. I could be wrong on that, but uh, overall that was just a pain in the butt to have. It's nice to just have this little uh, control here. Obviously now you don't hear it, but once I turn that on, they all turn back on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this a little uh, into how to use automations on the Fairlight page. Oh, the other thing I guess I could quickly show you here is if I go in and let's say I add in, um, let's just do a delay, sure. All of these controls can also uh, have that effect. So any, any plugin that we also use. So if we come up here and then we turn on plugins, now we could go in and we could record these um, as well, right? So we have that ability to record those as well. Um, yeah, so everything 
you can add an automation on. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, there's a ton of stuff on the website. I also have free titles on there. I have tutorials, lessons. I have right around, I think 30 plus hours of course material on there. And if you want transitions, titles, slideshows, effects, a ton of different stuff on the website, take a look at that. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this one. My name's JR, thanks so much for watching. Till the next one, peace.